morning and welcome to your Friday Lettings update. We had a great chat with Tony Hunter, tax partner at George Hay yesterday. Reason being, I'd read a number of stories in the media which was basically pointing to the fact 85% of buy-to-lets are actually bought under a limited company. And she thought, that's not right. If 3% of the portfolio we look after is a limited company, if that. So what was the outtake, uh, or the takeout even? It really was, it depends. It depends on your circumstances and it depends what you want to do long term. Um, for example, I've got several rental properties. Um, my aim is to actually have them as a pension in the future and when I kick the bucket, to pass them on. Limited companies, not really going to work for me. I don't want to sell. And to be perfectly honest, the worst thing I ever did as a landlord was to sell a property. Whereas I should have used the equity within it to buy another one, sold it, learned a very expensive lesson. So the most important thing is if you're thinking about something like that, go and ask an expert. And Tony is there to help. We had some very good news on the Green Homes deal. And I think it was on Thursday evening. They actually, the government have announced they've extended this until March 2022. So they've extended it by a year. Reason being, there aren't enough contractors to actually get everything through by March 2021. So if you are thinking of looking at low carbon heating um, to actually insulate floors, walls, roofs, um, put in triple glazing, double glazing, then this could be for you, but remember that you won't be using a local contractor. You will be using a contractor that is designated by the government. The fact is, it's been extended. And I, if you are thinking of doing it, I would sincerely say go now because there's only one pot of money and it's going to be a first come, first serve basis. Had to have a chuckle. Um, right move had, what was the heading? The heading was asking prices have fallen, we explain why. And there was a huge amount of explanation that this actually wasn't a problem. It's putting stamp duty um, through or for the holidays, but it was just coming up as a problem. But the they were trying to explain that the fact that asking prices have dropped on average by £1,500 wasn't a problem. Mm, I think if you're selling a property, you might be aware of that or you might need to be aware of that. Um, the other situation really on the sales side is what I'm hearing from all of the agents, the sales agents that we work with, is the sales market is very buoyant. However, it's actually getting it through to exchange and completion, which is the problem. Um, and had a, a very, um, I suppose he's always, a, again, made me chuckle, um, a return email from a solicitor, which really was saying, don't call me, I'm busy, I'll come back to you in four to five days. So there's certainly a backlog out there. People are trying to deal with it, but there's a lot going on. Um, now, what's happening with regard to the rental market, which is more important, very steady. Um, and when I say very steady, it's actually quite busy. But the reason being is there isn't a lot of stock on the market. Hmm, why is that? Well, it basically means that anyone who's looking to rent out a property, and I'm really sorry if that's you, um, you've got very little choice. Um, and the way that we are now dealing with viewings for properties that we're marketing um, is very much a case that in some cases, well, actually in most cases, we're actually getting higher rent than we originally marketed. So that's something to be aware of. Is that a problem in the rental market? It's basically supply. The supply is less because people aren't moving. It's as simple as that. We're still getting the same number of new landlords coming into the market. So certainly not a problem there. The problem is the people aren't move, moving. And what about rental? Because that's the most important. Rental, we're not actually seeing any change at all. Um, the people that we've been working with who are on furlough are still on furlough. We're getting rents in over a period of time. We are not seeing any redundancies. So... Watch this space and, and basically see how we go. But as I say, not as steady as we go on the rental side. Anyway, that's it from me. Um, see you next week and don't forget to wash those hands. Bye.